What's up, Pyromaniacs? Pyrostasis here. We're back in the world of Technic, and we have, I think I last left you guys off when we hadn't built our secondary house yet. Wanted to show you guys this. This is our secondary modular house. I will probably add on a third one over here, but it's probably going to make me extend my wall. Uh, reason why is these houses are 10 by 5, I think, and there's only 8 spots between me and this wall here, uh, including one space. Now, I decided not to make a front door on this one because of my farm here and I was a little too lazy to reorg the farm. I'll be reorging the farm at a later later date. But instead I'm kind of going with like a uh, Mars habitat type setup where all of the little places are going to be linked up via a uh, kind of like a system like this. So, you know, you come in here, you've got your little research station where we're going to be doing all of our dark voodoo magic so to speak and then we're going to be coming in here this is where our power will be generated now you're going to notice right up here this is actually a solar generator you can see that the solar lights rocking and rolling right now eventually i will replace this entire roof with a solar uh, array and then i'm most likely going to actually bump this uh the ceiling up one block so that i can have all of the well, actually i'll probably bump it up two blocks the reason why i'm going to do two uh, and it's kind of hard to show you without being up here, but um, I'm going to have them up top. That's going to be top block. And then I'm going to have the pipes running basically on this roof area here. So all the pipes will be feeding into one chute. And then I'll have a wooden ceiling so it looks normal when you come in. And then the pipes will come down to the bat box. And you're probably hearing that annoys, annoying noise as this thing comes on and off, on and off. And I think it just shut down because it's nighttime. Yeah. We just lost power but reason why that kept making that noise was because we just really don't have enough power to run the macerator full time so eventually what i'll do is i'll have a chest right here that i'll have all my powders then you'll have a pipe that will pump into the macerator uh and that will have an engine and then the macerator will macerate i'll have another pipe here that'll pump out my ores that need to be or my powders and then I'll have a pipe here that'll bump it into the furnace here. And then another chest probably here or here that will uh, have the uh, the finished ore set up. So that's probably going to take a couple episodes to get all that going. Mainly because getting the ceiling completely replaced is going to take a little bit. Especially since I have to convert a uh, just a ridiculous amount of ores to powders. And then from powders to, uh, to metals. And uh, I've started to notice some really nasty wildlife uh, roaming around outside the house now. Uh, I did bump into my first, uh, what do you call it? Actual wolf. Not a werewolf, an actual fucking wolf. And needless to say, he wasn't very happy with me. And you can hear things growling out there. Oh, this right here is one of the skeletal horses. I don't think I've shown this to you guys yet. They kind of roam around too. As far as I know, they don't do anything other than sound creepy. That was that noise. And uh, and look funky. God, I hope I shut my door. Okay, good. So, I will eventually get this place completely sealed off. Of course, after the ogre came through, uh, if, you, if you watched last episode, you may wonder what the fuck happened over there. That was an ogre. He decided to come pay me a visit. Blew the hell out of my base, which... I don't know. I, I'm not sure if I like that mechanic, considering he can just basically come in here and destroy all of this work. I mean, I don't think it would actually physically destroy everything. Uh, it would uh, get rid of the, uh, what do you call them? It, it would just get rid of the building blocks and I'd have to redo them, which would be a fucking annoyance. So I don't think I really like the fact that things could actually destroy stuff, but... I guess it does add a little bit of inner, you know, excitement and such, but at the same time, you know, if you spend like a couple hours, I mean, for me, it's like my base is garbage anyway, so I mean, it's not really that big a deal, but you know, if you were somebody that actually had creative talent, that would be really, really annoying to lose your entire base just because some orc wandered by. And the other thing that sucks is as far as I know, there's no way for you to counter that, like, you know. I know I can eventually build force fields and things like that to uh, keep the baddies away, but, you know, early on, it, there's not really much I can do other than just say, you know, please don't rape me, which I'm pretty sure isn't a valid anti-rape tactic. All right.
great. And we are out of materials in our little magic box here. So we're going to go ahead and feed this back up. I have done quite a few uh, research things since our last episode. I think I've gotten four or five new recipes. As you can see here, we got uh, seven league boots, which basically allow you to jump and run really fast. And I think you can't take fall damage. The arcane focus, that's something that I will be covering in a later video that allows me to make turrets and a few other really cool things. Concentrated Viz, from what I can see, actually allows you to counteract the effects of taint. So, like that area over there where there's a bunch of taint, uh, this right here basically makes a vial. And here I can I can kind of show you what it looks like. It makes this little vial that has 140 viz in it. So I can make a bunch of these, and then I could go over there and bomb that taint, and that would allow me to counteract the effects of taint. The only problem with that is uh, most of my methods of vs create taint. So it would kind of be like a completely bass Hackard's way of going about things because I would be polluting as I tried to depollute. It, it just, I'm going to lower my carbon footprint by making a giant carbon footprint. Wait a minute. I need to think about that one for a little bit. It's like pollution inception right there. Anyways, uh, the darkness generator, I have no idea what this does. This is the first piece of eldritch energy that I've gotten. So once I figure this out, I will uh, cover it. But from what I understand, this draws power from a monolith and makes darkness. I have no idea what darkness is, but apparently it's something. So that ought to be interesting to play around with a little bit later on. This mod is just huge and, and really fucking cool. I'm really liking it. So I'm hoping that there'll be some really interesting stuff that we can play around with a little bit later on. Now what I'm trying to do now, um, obviously I'm going to try and make all of these uh, solar panels. And I need lots and lots and lots of... Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think they're machine circuits or something. Solar panel, here we go. Yes, lots of these electronic circuits. So thankfully I've got most of this stuff. It's just I didn't have the copper cables turned into... Uh, or the copper turned into actual copper. So that's going to slow me down just a bit. But I've been working on it. Do I have my redstone with me or is that the other chest? I'm also in the process of moving my house from over here to over there. But uh, I'm not a very organized person. So I've been kind of lazy when it comes to getting my uh, my stuff moved over. So, oh, what the f Was that a bird? Okay. Damn, bird, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> you gotta be careful with this mod. It adds like a hundred some odd creatures and like 95 of them want to kill you. So it's just like, every time I see something, I have no idea what it is. It's like, ah, panic. Oh, oh, okay, you're friendly. Cool. Cool, that's that's good. Thanks. Appreciate you not trying to... Ah, oh, damn it. I left the... Left the fucking rubber over here. There we go. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and just make as many of these as I can. I should be able to do, I think, seven if my math is correct. Actually, seven might be a little much now that I think about it. But oh well, who gives a shit, right? Seven. It's going to be a lot of copper cabling, and I don't think I need that much copper cabling now that I think about it. But I do have plenty of copper coming and still have plenty over here. So should be good. Okay, so to make those, I always forget the recipe. I have like a little notepad that I keep behind by my desk now that I'm keeping all my recipes in. And it's just funny because it's like in a shorthand. So I basically make this little grid with letters inside of it so I know what I'm doing. And it's funny because when I'm on camera, I remember. And then like as soon as I get off camera... And I get to think it's like, wait a minute. What the hell was that again? Damn it. All right, so we're just gonna make, I guess we can make quite a few of these. I need two per thing. So let's make, let's start off making six. That'll make us enough for three generators. Oh, damn it. 
Way to go, Pyro. Left the fucking uh, metal over here. So we're gonna make ten. Because damn it, I'm annoyed now. Alright. So ten. Boom. There we go. Oh, I don't have enough copper cabling for ten. Here I was bragging and all that because I had so much. <laughs> then I go and run out like I don't have enough. It's like, oops. There we go, there's seven. All right, so we got seven of these. And you need to be, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's an error with NEI or if it's an error with something else. But occasionally when you're messing around with this, if you right click on the wrong thing, like let's say you have a bunch of, uh, you're trying to make books and you've got paper all the way across, but you've only got enough to make, let's say five books, but it leaves you with some paper. It will auto-complete recipes for other things that you don't want. And I'm not sure... Oh! It's daylight outside again. Yay! You can see our little bat box is really trying to to work, but failing miserably. Alright, so we've got seven solar panels, which is going to give us enough to make three... Or, er, three electric... Six electric circuits... Which is going to let us make three of these. So I need to make three generators. And a generator is simply just an iron furnace. And these RE batteries. So we're going to go with the RE battery first. I don't know why they don't just use this recipe instead of this one. It's basically the same item. Alright. So we need a bunch of tin, some redstone, and yay, more copper cabling which I just burned, so we're going to have to make some more copper cabling. Thankfully, I have plenty of this stuff. Hello, spider! Fuck off! That's right. It's my house, biatch. I need to put a staircase there so that I can get in and out of my damn base a little bit easier. There we go. Oh, damn it. I hope I have enough. Yeah, I do. Okay, one, two, three. Now we got plenty of copper cabling. That should be enough. All right. So let's make these RA batteries. So that's one, okay, plenty of redstone and 10. So I need 10. Oh, I got plenty of 10. I got plenty of redstone. Good show. So we need six of these, I think. Yep. So, we're going to just split these up. As long as we got six, we're good. There we go. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. That gives us six RA batteries. Boom. There's six. Pull all this stuff out. And then from here, we need to make the iron furnaces. And I think an iron furnace can be made with just normal iron, right? Yep. So we need six of these. So that's six, seven, eight times. Six times eight is 48. So we're going to need 48 iron. Did you see those mad math skills, bitches? That's right. All right I think we, we have enough of that. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You guys don't need to hear me count as much as you might love to hear my voice count. I'm sure you're all taking bets to find out how long or how high I can count now. That's very hurtful. Hurts my feelings. I'm crying now. Okay, and then I think we need a bunch of refined iron. So I'm gonna go ahead and refine that. Alright, so we've got these. Or no, we don't. There we go. So I need six times three, that's 18 refined iron. We do not have enough refined iron. This is going to give me six, seven, eight, nine. Right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Only I'll have nine refined iron, so we need more iron. Surely to God. Is that what we're macerating now? No, we're macerating copper. Holy fuck. I never thought I would run out of iron. I had so much iron. So we're not going to be able to make all of these, sadly. Tin dust, silver dust. Nope, not missing any dust. Let's go check our other house real quick on the off chance that I put some in there. I did move some stuff and forgot about it, so it's possible. Potency enhancement, or enchantment. 
This enchantment enhances the effect of certain magical items like wands. It boosts things like damage, range, area of effect. Well, that's a handy little thing to have. I'm liking having that. Let's get rid of this. Found out yesterday why I couldn't see anything on the stream. Uh, anytime you type into any eye like that, it dampens the visuals. Which is kind of nice, but at the same time, it kind of fucking... Thank God! All right. Oh, you guys have no idea how mad I was going to be if I had to go back out and hunt a bunch of fucking iron. I swear to God, I was going to snap and kill people. All right. So... We're going to go ahead and pause this maceration job. Or, no we're not. What am I doing? Has nothing to do with maceration, Pyro. There we go. Put you in here. Alright, so now we just got to wait for this to chew through all of that. While that's doing that, we're going to go ahead and make a few of these. So I can show you guys what this looks like. And we can start up. So I believe... It's Iron Furnace. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. What oh, should just click? And bam. There's our generators. So we have three generators. I'll make the rest of them here in a minute. So. Okay, now we need coal dust and glass. Now, thankfully, I have quite a bit of glass, or I did. Yep, I got plenty of glass. We just need coal dust. And I believe I've got coal dust over here. I'm sure a few of you are screaming at me because I've run back and forth like 75 times. I promise I will have my inventory system sorted soon. I'm just going to give my save file to uh, Wayne the maid and have him go through. A few of you guys may get that joke. A few of you may not. <laughs> if you play it on my server, here, I'll go ahead and explain it. Wayne is one of the admins that I have that runs on the server and or had on the server we're not really up right now we may start it back up soon um damn all right that's enough need to go ahead and refine this anyways wayne um uh, is really good at sorting things and fixing things and so Pyro's not very organized I, I have a tendency to just fucking do whatever the hell i want to do and it Sometimes it works out, and sometimes it's fucking awful. Uh, so, anyways, um, Wayne had a tendency to kind of thankfully come in behind me and clean up after me, and it was it was pretty nasty sometimes because we would go out and like PvP with our chests and just make a god awful mess, and uh, we'd come back and Wayne was nice enough to take care of everything for us. All right, so reason I'm holding off on this is we need. Uh, three. So I need three times... No. Fuck, I don't remember. I know I need three times six. I need 18 coal dust, so we, we don't have enough coal. We're going to have to go make some. I think that's plenty of iron. So we're going to go ahead and take this. And we're going to bring it over here to the macerator. Now the macerator... Oh, shit, my inventory. redstone in here store my mushrooms in a minute boom boom there we go anyways you put coal dust or you put coal in the macerator just like anything else and it will macerate happily and that's going to turn that in so anyways that's more or less how you go about making um solar panels we're going to use that to expand this whole area here and eventually, hopefully, we will reach enough uh, or a point to where this power will stabilize. Because right now, we're using more power than we can uh, than we can produce, and that's a problem. So we want to increase that, especially since we don't have any machines running. As we get more and more machines running, and especially once we get all of this automated, we're going to need more and more stuff. So we're going to go ahead and skip ahead till I get a few of these bad boys built, and uh, we'll move on from there. All right, folks, as you can see, we've got a couple more generators going on. A look at the bat box shows that we are actually gaining in power. It's struggling, but it's going up. 
and you can see that our macerator is now running full time and full speed. I do plan on overclocking this bad boy so that it runs faster and we're gonna, you know, like I said, eventually make this entire roof into a series of these bad boys as we need to probably unless I decide to switch over to another form of power but odds are I'm gonna stick with solar for a bit um, I don't know I, I may try playing around with the oil that I've got out there we're gonna see how that goes but I, I think that pretty much wraps us up for this video hope you guys liked it um, got some power going and in the next video we've gotten all of our other crap sorted so the next video, we're going to start back with thermaturgy, therma, thermatography, <laughs> thumbcraft, thumbcraft. We're going to start with thumbcraft, get the Viz system working now that I've got a decent uh, amount of other stuff. I think we're a little bit more, uh, a little bit better prepared. So we're going to start right off with that, try and get our Viz power station running, creating some Viz, uh, a couple condensers. And then we're going to start moving into getting the Viz detectors, the goggles, the boots of ownage, and a few other cool features. And then hopefully sometime next week we'll be able to jump into the uh, that little obelisk room over there. So anyways, hope you guys are liking this series. If you are, please click that like button. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my other videos, tips, tricks, and guides. And I'll catch you guys in the next clip.